Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Tutorials. Today we're going to look at envelope segments. An envelope segment is the line between two envelope points, right? So this is an envelope segment. Something that really bothered me for a really long time before I figured it out was that if I had a time selection and I moved a point, every point in time selection would move together. But if I then used the line, the line wouldn't make everything work together. That's because it's an envelope segment and this is an envelope point. And there's a preference for that. If you go to envelope display, you can see envelope point selection follows time selection for the active envelope. So if I untick that box, now I can come to a point and just move it within a time selection. But now that I understand this, I like to have this on. And whenever I want to work on points, I just, you know, get rid of my time selection. Now I can move this. So another cool thing is the shift and command one, move envelope segment. You just create a time selection, you hold shift and command, and it automatically creates four points for you. So you can turn this bit up. If you want this movement to be a little more smooth, you can just shift click somewhere, create a point, then delete this point. A couple of things I'd like to add is what I added to envelope segment double clicking. For example, I have control, it will add four points and then I can move them. Now the reason I added this is yes, obviously I can create a time selection, command shift, and then I can move this around. But what if I want to insert something, but I don't want to move it at all, right? So I can just do this. So I'm just preserving this value for this duration, right? Let's say I'm very happy with the value here, just create a time selection, control double click, and then you can't touch that value anymore. The other thing I have is create three envelope points. And that's for, for example, a place like this, where where this one hit is a little bit too intense for me. So I can just create a time selection around it. Then I'm gonna place my mouse cursor roughly on the area where that is. And I'm gonna hit command and control double click. It will create two envelope points and then one in the middle at where my edit cursor is. I'll show you this custom action. So it inserts two envelope points at time selection. It inserts a new envelope point at mouse cursor, which will have the same value. It waits a little bit, which I found you need to do because I'm removing the time selection. And then it unselects all points and removes the time time selection. So if I want to just kind of add a little bit of power to this passage, cursor here, command, control, double click, and now I can just move this up. Another one I have is the C fillion linear ramp selected envelope points. And that's for something like this. Let's say I want to change all these lines. I can go shift and command, double click, and I'll get this little menu. It will change the value of everything in a linear fashion. And it takes the center as whatever point you're on. And you can see exact values of all your envelope points. So that one's a little useful. So that's all for envelope segments. I highly encourage you watch the Kenny Joya videos. Those are gold and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.